What's up, YouTube? It's Inglewood Kenneth back with another video. If you're new here, I need you to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And when you hit that notification bell, make sure you click all post notifications. That's where you be notified on, on our upcoming pops, drops, stud and letters, everything. Let's get into this video. So y'all, 225 looking real good. It's looking real good for me per se, you know? And the reason why I'm gonna say that because y'all don't know, but I took losses. I took losses this year. I took losses, real losses. Man, I had a run. I had a hell of a run though. Like, like I'm gonna clear the airways before I even finish this. Like, I had a run, me per se, for my age bracket, where I'm at, all that. I think I had the coldest run. I say I had the coldest run. For the last three, four years, I done had the coldest, coldest run. And I learned so much, so much stuff. Like, and when you when you have a run like that, whether it's dealing with pit bulls, bullies, M style, oldies, whatever you dealing with. God's gonna always knock you back down. You could be going 10 summers long. Out of them 10, he'd have knocked you down twice. At least once, you know? So, like I say, I'd have had me to run. I'd have, I'd, have, I'd have had me a real run with the bullies and the blue noses and all that. I never forget how I started or where I came from. Even though birth, I was birthing to bulldogs. But, you know, I picked my own route and did bullies and everything else. But what I'm saying is, I didn't take a loss 2024. 2024 was a loss. But like I say, it was just God taking un taking all the unnecessary stuff that I didn't need. Stuff that potentially could have caused drama, could have caused long-term beefs, or have you on a pity, you know? So, what way I want to go? I'm going to go this way. It's more shade. But, it, uh, you know, I took it for what it is, you know? Because... I sit back and I tell myself that I could be sitting driving. I have, I be burning, bro. You the hide, you the hide around. You can, you know. And now, my daughter finna be here in October. So, I'm taking like majority of this year just me just being a father, taking time with mayhem. You know, and that's a whole nother video I'm gonna do after this video, but. It's like, yeah, like, my daughter finna be here, so right now, I'm down to three dogs. Three dogs. Y'all don't know, but I was just up 10, 11 dogs in an apartment at that. Making it work at that. So, when people try to tell me, oh, you can't do that, or you can't, you, I'm is the testimony. I am a firm believer you could. I won't suggest you to go up to ten dollars, eleven dollars, twelve dollars. I won't say get up that that point. I won't, you know. Like I say, with me, like, how can I do this? I could really break this down to another video, but I'm, I'm gonna try to make give it, keep it brief for y'all. But back to what I was saying, I wouldn't recommend it. But with me, I was finding my niche, y'all. That's why I was up $11. I was finding my niche on what I want to do, what I want to go, what breed, what, you know, yeah, I know I wanted to stay within the pit bull and bully breed, but did I want to go all XLs? Y'all know I had, that's what I mean when I say I had a run. I had a cold air run on the XLs, as the XL. So I'm not tripping on that. I could I'm, that's why I can tell y'all I could I'm taking a step back from the exit because I'd had a long run. So with that being said, I was trying to find why when I was up my $10, 11 dollars I was trying to find my niche on what I want to do. And yes, it took me all this time. Yeah. I could have end I could have the reason why I say it it took me 
as long as it did to find my niche because I want I didn't let anybody in my ear to tell me, oh do this, or oh, just do that, oh do that. I have boys, I have you know, family, all that. Just woo woo. But I knew what I wanted and what I was trying to go for. So yeah, it took me some time to figure that out. And now that it's figured out, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm going. I know how I wanna, I know the number that I set for myself. Like with these dogs, you have a set, you have to set a standard within your program. And you have to run by that. You have to live by that. That's something you truly have to do. So with me, all these geese right here, they want to block the road. They want to block the walkway. So I'm just going to go ahead, go on the other side. So I won't get attacked by them. But you have to set that, that standard within your program. And you have to run by it and live by it. Because if you don't, you're going to get too head over heel and find yourself over, overcrowded. Whether you breeding bullies, pit bulls, or whatever breed. Frenchies, whatever. But, yeah, it took me that time, and I done went through a lot of trials and tribulations within that. And I can proudly say I stand firm and strong through it all. Through it all. Yeah, I had a lot of long, nice wrestles, nice, all that. But I stood through it. Now, going forward, like I said, I'm down to three dogs. I got Mina. Mina is my house dog. She is the family dog. She here for my daughter. She, she, that, that's what Mina around. Mina not being bred no more. I'm finna spay her. I mean, new to her. She won't, she, you know? She a spay, I mean. But she, you know, she not finna produce none of that. She not getting bred no more. She considered a house dog. Going forward, I got big plans for Feisty. That's a big plan. I got two breeds I'm doing with Feister. And out of these two breeds, I feel like I should. I feel like I'd be good. I feel like I'd be good if I build my program. Because I got a nice, nice brew. She a nice brew bitch. No, she is a nice brew stock female. And that's what she pretty much being used for in my program. And five. Well, I said I'll say that for a video after this video, but yeah, the like. So, like I said, going forward, I got I know got two pit bull breeds coming up next year. One um, I'll probably keep majority of the litter, and I know I ain't gonna say majority of the litter, but with with. The breeding that I'm finna do and with the quality of these dogs and the qualities that they got and the purpose they can serve. The very first breeding only a few only a few selective pup like honestly it'll probably be like at the most probably like two, three pups probably get let go. And the rest would be held. And out of those two or three that might get let go, out of those two, and well, out of the bunch, no matter how many it is, I uh, I had them and they showed me all the traits and everything that I'm looking for. Then I started narrowing them down. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I took hard to heat beam right now. It's killing me. But we got to get out here and do this video for y'all. But, yeah, I know when I do her first breed, majority of that stock will be in-house. Only fear selective going out to real dog, man. Pay a point blank. Not more, none less. And if I choose to let anything else go, it's going out of state. When I do, I, that I was always, I don't, I'm like, and that's something that, I'm finna say before I lose train of thought, I'm not breeding for the community as far as with my pit bulls, cause my pit bulls, they is active. They is buck wild. And when I mean not aggressive buck wild, nothing like that, but they 
they if you're a person that's not getting up if you're a lazy person i'm gonna put it out there if you're lazy and you're not willing to get up on a day-to-day -day basis and take care of these dogs and all that they will tie your stuff up they will mess your house up so with me knowing that from my pit bulls and knowing that that's one of the traits that feisty got because she ate open one of her cages i know her offspring nine to the ten gonna have that mentality and you know yeah you could bleed it out yeah you could do all that but that's just any pit bull. Pit bull is just buck wild. They have prey driven. They all that. So, with that being said, her very first litter will be mostly kept in, or you know, pit around with real dog people. You know, that's gonna do right by them and give them the life that they need, and the time that they need, and the exercise that they need, and the workout that they need. Second litter, more likely be the same way, depending on. But, yeah, them, I know for sure, them the next two letters, I do kind of, yeah, I am thinking about, uh, if I, I'm thinking about still doing my bullies, but I'm just, like I said, I took a step back from XL, so it wouldn't be no XLs for my XL lovers. It would be pretty much pockets. Well, it would be pretty much pockets, so other than that, you know, them that's what i'll be having i just had a little short pocket bullies and you know uh short pocket bullies and you know my working pit bulls you know just my working pit bulls you know? and one thing i do want to put in this video no dog or bread no dog bread used bought for illegal purposes so what up right I mean, whatsoever, like, I don't condone in it. I don't condone in my dogs getting to it. Y'all know I have even came to y'all on my channel and said, oh, one of my dogs died because another dog or because my a kennel accident and nothing like that. I don't even play like that. And that's another thing why I say with Feist Litter, her litter, you know, these dogs have to go to people that's well experienced, you know, so. I had a couple people on my, you know, and like I said, if I do let some go to the public, you know, that's very rare, you know, because like I say, on my pit bull side, I'm not breeding for the community. I'm breeding for what I want. I'm trying to get into these confirmation shows, these wall climbing, these, 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 uh, confirmation wall climbing, weight pulling. I'm trying to do it all. So with me going forward, yeah, I have to make the dog the perfect dog that I feel like for me. No, not for the community. So, yeah. But... Besides that, I'm, 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 I'm pretty much, you know, I'm chilling, chilling, you know, living life. Like I said, I moved from a recent crib, new neighborhood, new, new scenery, move, you know, new, new scenery. You know. But I'm loving that. Uh, that. I'm like, really, I'm just really, right now, y'all, I'm really on the downtime and. You know, right now, I'm just really working with Mayhem more and more and everything. And like I say, I'm going to touch more on that in the next video. I just pretty much had to come do this video for y'all, y'all. Come do this video for y'all and let y'all know where I'm at, what I got coming, you know, everything. You know, you know I ain't dropped in a minute. I'm trying to get back to drop, but it's coming along. It's coming along real good, so. Yeah, y'all, I'm gonna wrap it up for this video. Like I say, quality over quantity. Y'all know my slogan. Quality over quantity over quantity. Keep scratching the wind. For the ones that know, for all my bulldog people, keep scratching the wind. Man. Catch y'all next video.